Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Queen Anne's County is asking for your tips on the following wanted persons. Please take the time to send us that anonymous message, contact 911, or give our office a call. Any information you provide on any of these persons will help us close these warrants and bring these people to justice. I wanted to talk to all of our viewers about the tips that we receive from you. We couldn't do our job if it wasn't for all the great tips that we receive. Sometimes we get tips from our viewers out of state, like maybe in Florida or possibly even in Hawaii. A lot of times those tips come in and you wonder why we didn't pick that person up or why we didn't go get that person. Locally, there is something called a Local 5 Extraditable Warrant. If we have a person who is driving on a suspended license and they flee the state of Maryland to avoid prosecution, or maybe they didn't know they were wanted, and they end up in another jurisdiction, a lot of times it's cost prohibitive to actually go pick up that person. Now, what we will do is mark warrants with what we call the Local 5. That means that in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Virginia, District of Columbia, and West Virginia, if you're marked with a Local 5, we're coming to get you. Most of the time, people that are fleeing warrants, they go far away. For example, we have one subject now, Joshua Hickox, who has actually fled to the state of Hawaii. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Right now live, while we're doing this, we're gonna take calls from our viewers. How many of you would like to see myself take a vacation and fly to Hawaii to pick up Josh Hickox? Right now we'll be taking your calls while we explain one more thing. A lot of times when we get the tips in, for example, South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida, Wyoming, Ohio, it's great to give us that information because we can track where that wanted person is so we know where they are. Remember, everybody that's wanted eventually will come back to Maryland or one of the surrounding jurisdictions. They've got family and they've got friends here. So hopefully at some point in time of their life, when they come back, they're gonna be looking over their shoulder. They know that law enforcement knows they're wanted and we're going to be coming to get them. But hopefully they'll do the right thing. If you're wanted and you're out there and you've been previewed on our show, we ask that you turn yourself in. A lot of times on these warrants, you may come in, be fingerprinted, photographed, you may go before a district court commissioner and get a new trial date. It's really simple to clear up. So we're asking you if you have a warrant or know of someone who does, let them know that the best thing they can do is turn themselves in to resolve this issue. Wow, looks like our tallies are in on the ledger board. Well, I guess I won't be going to Hawaii to pick up Josh Hickox. Disappointing, I was kind of looking forward to a vacation. But anyway, I'll still be here day and night to make sure that these wanted persons are taken care of. And by the way, Josh Hickox, if you get on a plane, we will know that you're on there and we plan on being there to pick you up. Joseph Brandon Rumont, white male. He was charged with fair to appear on April the 6th, 2017 on the original charge of driving without the required license. He's five foot nine inches tall, 140 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. He was born on September the 24th, 1977. His last known address is 1004 Chesapeake Drive in Stevensville, Maryland. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please urge him to turn himself in to resolve this warrant. Richard J. White Jr., African-American male. He was charged with failure to appear on August the 12th, 2015. His original charges are first degree assault and burglary first degree. He's five foot nine inches tall, 140 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. He was born on December the 4th, 1985. His last known address is 200 Schoolhouse Lane in Graysonville, Maryland. If you have that tip, please send it to us. Stacy Renee Boyer, African-American female, failed to appear in circuit court on April the 15th, 2016, on the original charges of theft, $1,000 to under $10,000. She is five foot four inches tall, 205 pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes. She was born on February the 21st, 1964. Her last known address is 104 Little Kidwell Avenue in Centerville. 
If you have that tip, contact the Centerville Police Department or notify our office. Philip David Strats. He's a white male, failed to appear on December the 2nd, 2016 on the original charges of driving on a suspended license. He is five foot, 11 inches tall, 190 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. He was born on October the 12th, 1960. His last known address is 409 Glenwood Avenue in Glen Burnie, Maryland. If you have any information on his whereabouts, send us that private Facebook message. Roland Eric Jones, African-American male, failed to appear in circuit court on August the 9th, 2016 on the original charge of failure to obey a traffic control device. He is six foot three inches tall, 170 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. He was born on April the 25th, 1985. His last known address is 611 Northeast Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland. If you have any information, contact local authorities or send us that anonymous tip. Thanks to all of our viewers in QAC TV for bringing Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted to Queen Anne's County. What a great partnership we have with our community. And thanks to you, the viewers, for keeping us safe with all of those tips.